so I'm an astrophysicist, I do some TV, but I actually work in the commercial space industry, mostly in the US and also in Europe. And my passion is actually for space exploration, new space. And one of the companies I work with is a company which is looking at using resources off Earth to enable exploration further into the solar system. So there is some crossover between what I do and the work that all of you do. What does it mean to be here tonight to be able to tell the story of space exploration and why it matters? It's very special. I mean, it's, it's wonderful to have the privilege of flying into space. Um, but, you know, part of that is, is to try and share the journey as much as possible. And you mentioned the moon landings um, and how that inspired you. And I think many people of a generation, it did. And I almost think with space exploration, we had a bit of a lull after Apollo, but space is really becoming exciting again. I was just wondering what excites you both about what's happening in space at the moment, other than the missions you've been involved in. Ladies and gentlemen, we have not only an American hero here with us this morning, but a global icon who not only took the first steps for human beings on another world, but is now working towards making humanity a multi-planetary species. The exploration of space is the most significant thing we will ever do as a species. And I really want you to give another really loud round of applause this time for Buzz Aldrin. Mm. We're going to move on to Apollo 11 now, because, of course, we're coming up to the 50th anniversary. How significant is that to you, not only in terms of what you did, but the future and getting to Mars? And how, um, since you began in your position, have you seen things change? I mean, do you believe that the internet, almost as an open source, is allowing a new era of innovation that we perhaps haven't seen before? That, to me, is what's really, really exciting, when you link the digital world with the real world. Is that kind of like an almost um, more modern version of geocaching, the whole yeah. idea of using... It's, sort of, it's basically geocaching with stories, but also the idea of, of, of bringing, to pe bringing people together around a challenge. Actually, this is one, I guess, for you, Renzo and Sajad. Um, could we see the car um, could do everything from monitor the driver's health um, and, and really do a wide range of things mm -hmm. moving forward? Some of you might be aware of what this picture is. If you're not, that tiny, tiny, tiny blue dot there is us. It's Earth, as taken by the Cassini space mission, which visited the planet Saturn. So those big rings you can see there are Saturn's rings, and that tiny, tiny blue dot is all of us here and everything else on planet Earth. And that is why space is my passion, because it's more than just science, it's more than just exploration. It goes down to fundamentals such as philosophy, why we're here, and why we exist.